Welcome everyone to Gamer Mail. Today, Microsoft announces FPS boosts, Intel is changing things, 3070Ti, this Ryzen 5000 stock is back, and Intel's 12th gen is a monster. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, Microsoft just announced a new feature for their current Xbox Series X and S consoles called FPS Boost. Unfortunately, when it comes to how they implement this, Microsoft is fairly vague. As for performance, FPS Boost allegedly gets as high as double to even quadruple the performance. The best part though is that it requires nothing from the developer. With that said, the feature currently only supports a few titles, but more are coming soon. Now, if you're ready to learn something new this year, there's no better place than today's sponsor, Brilliant, the problem-solving based website and app that's made specifically to help you achieve your goals in STEM. Not only that, but there's no grades or tests. Just find a course that you want to learn and get started. They also show you how to do it instead of just explaining things. Plus, they've got some great courses like the statistics class, which gives you hands-on experience in designing experiments and framing questions for statistical analysis. Basically, there's something for everyone. So don't wait. Learn the deeper side of tech by visiting brilliant.org slash gamermelt, and the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off the annual premium today. Next up, Pat Gelsinger officially took office as Intel's new CEO just a few days ago, and he's already promising some big things. According to a letter that was sent out to all of Intel's 110,000 employees, the new CEO listed four goals for the company, with the first being quite ambitious. Specifically, he wants Intel to be the leader in every category that they compete in. He's also promising to passionately innovate as well as reunite their culture to quote, attract and motivate the best engineers and technologists on the planet. Those are obviously some big goals, but time will obviously tell if he's able to reach them. Intel certainly has some big competition if they plan to make it a reality. Next up for today, it looks like Nvidia could be getting close to announcing a new GPU, specifically the RTX 3070 Ti. In a recent report by GameStar, the German retailer Alternate posted a Lenovo Legion T7 that actually comes with the 3070 Ti. Now, the listing has since been taken down, and Alternate claims that it was an error, but I mean, come on now. We actually saw a similar listing from Lenovo themselves a little while back, but if that was an error with Lenovo, it would have been deleted by now. Of course, the image shows a 2080 Super, but that's just for the image, I'm sure it's just an older one at that. What's interesting is that the 3070 Ti comes with a whopping 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, and that's GDDR6, not GDDR6X. Still, that's a ton of memory and makes me think of the 3060. Hopefully, if it does get released, it'll actually be available for more than two seconds. And while talking about availability, in a new report from Tom's Hardware, Ryzen 5000 supply issues look to be improving drastically. The information comes from pricing trends over the last three months on eBay, plus tons of stock at another place, but I'll get to that in a second. First, on eBay, you can see that it's been a pretty steady downtrend since November, which certainly does indicate that more and more processors are making their way into the hands of consumers. And if we look right now, you can see that the Ryzen 5600X is in fact selling for just over the retail price. Actually, the Ryzen 5800X is selling for right at MSRP, which essentially means they're back in stock. To which if you compare that to say the RX 6800 XT or the PlayStation 5, you'll see how bad things could be. Unfortunately, the 5900X and 5950X are still selling for quite a bit over retail, but those two are on a downward trend. As for stores that are actually in stock, when you go to Micro Center's website, you can see that multiple stores actually have a lot of Ryzen 5000 currently in stock. That and Shop BLT have thousands of CPUs incoming, so at this point, the Ryzen 5000 stock issues look to mostly be over. And lastly for today, we have a ton of new information on Intel's upcoming 11th and 12th gen CPUs. The story originally comes from a report by HKEPC, and starting things off, the outlet claims that Intel's upcoming Rocket Lake CPUs are set for release on March 15th. So yeah, not too long now. Not only that, but they also went over Intel's upcoming 12th gen Alder Lake. 
Remember that Alder Lake is set to come with Intel's version of Big Dot Little Cores, which I still think is really odd for desktop, but we'll obviously have to wait and see. According to HKEPC, the 12th gen desktop processors are set to be announced in September, with an actual launch in December, which means Intel wasn't joking when they said 12th gen would be coming this year. When it comes to performance, they claim Intel's upcoming Alder Lake will not only be coming on Intel's 10 nanometer Superfin, but it's actually built on an enhanced Superfin design that gets a 15% increase in power consumption. To top it off, HKEPC is claiming that Intel's Golden Cove, which is the 12th gen big core, gets an unbelievable 20% IPC increase over Willow Cove. Remember that Willow Cove is Intel's Tiger Lake parts, which already have a decent IPC increase from Skylake. With a 20% IPC increase above that, given Intel can keep their very high clocks, their 12th gen release could be huge. Of course, there's more than just the big cores, and according to this, there's up to 8 big cores and 8 little cores with 24 threads, which is something we've seen recently. With that said, the 8 little cores apparently get around the same performance as Skylake, which definitely isn't too bad. All in all, the report claims we should expect an overall IPC increase of between 16 to 18%. Basically, at the end of the day, Intel's upcoming 12th gen parts could seriously challenge AMD. Of course, not long after, they'll likely release the 5 nanometer based Ryzen 6000 series, so it could be a losing battle. Really, there's one thing to say mostly for sure. I would hold out on Intel's 11th gen CPUs. So while that does it for today, are you excited for Intel's upcoming CPUs, or are you just ready to buy a Ryzen 5000 CPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you love talking all things hardware, make sure to visit the GamerMail Discord server at discord.gg gamermail. And as always, have a great day.